the numbers reported were extraordinary. Um, the deliveries, what's expected next year. But the stock, as I pointed out, has lost about 21 percent of its value so far this year. Does that make sense to you? Well, look, I, I think the whole market has been a bit overvalued. But if you look at Tesla, you have to see three things. First, blockbuster quarter. They grew revenues from $32 billion in 2020 to $53.8 billion in 2021. That's 58% growth. Nobody else in the global auto industry is doing anything close and with a $5.5 billion profit. That's looking pretty good. Second part of the equation is how are they doing relative to competition? They produced 930,000 vehicles in 2021, more than anybody thought, 2x over their closest competitor, Volkswagen, 453,000. Just by comparison, Ford and GM produced only 27 and 25,000 vehicles, respectively. So to me, rapid growth, profitability, outpacing competition, hard to ask for a lot more than that. Yeah, that does put it in perspective in terms of the actual manufacturing numbers. But that said, when somebody goes to make a decision this year to buy a new EV vehicle and or next year, there are going to be more choices available to them. And that does seem to at least be some concern for investors who otherwise perhaps might own the stock? Look, there is a ton of competition. Every automaker in the world is going electric. So get used to that. And by the way, the cost of electric vehicles will go down commensurate with the dropping cost of lithium ion batteries. So yes, Tesla is going to get more competition, but just know the whole marketplace is going electric. That's what consumers want. By the way, Tesla, a 10 month waiting line for their model uh, Ys alone. So the demand is huge. They're number one. The question is, is anybody catching up? General Motors, a lot of talk about Mary Barra's $7 billion commitment to building new factories, but they should have started that five years ago. The real competition, I think, is Volkswagen, global brand, deep pockets, manufacturing facilities in Europe and the United States, and they've taken battery production somewhat in-house in the partnership with Northvolt. We also need to look at the Chinese, and most Americans will say, Chinese car makers? But they're coming, and you'll see new brand names competing on the market like X-Pen, Neo, and SAIC. China's the biggest auto market in the world, and they have the advantage that the government subsidizes their vehicles. So get ready. New waves of competitors are coming. But for now, Tesla's still king of the hill.